All right, I'm gonna race this horse. Winner! <laughs> Action! Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here with Cycle Therapeutico, the best hand slider in the world. We have his video coming up where he's gonna teach us how to do this amazing technique. But for today, we're going to go to Circuit Nabella because we have to train for our next race. Circuit Nabella is not a very fun circuit to train on because it's so difficult. There's so many turns, but the good thing about it is our legs are gonna be destroyed. Like it is leg day times 12. We're gonna be training 12 laps because that's what our races have been is 12 laps. I don't wanna train more than 12 laps because I want our bodies to be perfectly adjusted to the 12 laps. Also, what I wanted to talk about in this video is the new Bagode electric unicycle and some other things as well. Like I think EUC has the potential to go mainstream this year with not only races, but the movie industry. I talked to Seth Johnson last night, who is like the creator of Amped and does amazing races in the US and is trying to get the, the race scene in the US going. And he has a movie coming out. It's not his movie, but it's a big uh, Hollywood movie. I don't know if it's Hollywood or Bollywood. Uh, I think they filmed in India, so I'm assuming it's a Bollywood film, but he just sent me some videos where they, he's in LA and he had to mic up his wheel so that they could get the wheel sounds. So man, it's gonna be really cool to see. I guess it's got Netflix, has bought the rights already, and it's gonna be in 1,000 theaters in the US, I guess, alone. Not only the US, but it's gonna be a global distribution. So man, I hope it's some kind of like action chase scene where the main character and his friend or something like that are on their EUCs and they have to navigate through some crazy streets in India on their electric unicycle and people are going to be like, wow, this is the perfect, perfect vehicle. So I am ecstatic to see this. That's something I would love to be in is a movie cycle. Would you want to be in a movie for? Mm. Of like, course, bro. Imagine you and me in the movies like Power Rangers, bro. <laughs> Doing amazing things. Yeah. Woo! Power Rangers. The way I, I think it could be in like a military film or like a futuristic film, you know, like uh, Attila Battle, where they're on those vehicles and they're in the arena and they're doing some things with weapons. About the net day coming. But something with weapons, because we have our hands. And then we have these futuristic machines we're on. There's so much you can do for it. So we kind of have the movie thing going on. And I think it comes out in a few months, maybe May. I'm not sure the exact dates, but I'm going to theaters. I don't care if it's like a romance. <laughs> I'm going to the movies to see this uh, action scene. Well, I, I assume it has to be an action scene because what else? I, I, it's got to be an action scene. Uh, action, action, action scene. So that's exciting. And then we have a new Bigode wheel called the Bigode Blitz. And the information I got on this wheel is it's, people are saying it's going to be a Lynx killer which I'm not too sure about based off the specs. Um, I'm kind of excited for it and potentially could be disappointing. It really depends. But the information I have on this wheel is that it is 134 volts, which once I learned that, I was kind of disappointed. We're gonna go uh, right here across the street. So yeah, once I learned it was only 134 volts, I was disappointed because if it's gonna be a Lynx killer, doesn't it need to be like the ET Max, the 168 or 167 volts that the ET Max is? So I was a little bit disappointed with the specs of the voltage, but allegedly it's similar to the Master V4 and it has the same amazing shock that the ET Max, the DS200, which is, I haven't tried that shock, but I hear great things about it. So, whew. And then it's supposed to be 10 kg lighter than the Master. I don't know what that is in the pounds, but I think it's, let's just say it's like five pounds lighter than the Master. So it's gonna be a beefed up Master in terms of it being lighter. And basically to me it sounds like a Master that's just a bit lighter with a good shock. So I don't know how excited I can be about that. I need to like see that it's some, uh, something more than just the Master. If they're, cause I mean the Master has metal battery boxes so that makes it 10 kg heavier if they're just taking off the metal, batter, metal 
battery boxes, it's still 134 volts and it's still the same battery capacity. I mean, it's just basically an older master with a new shock. So I don't know how excited I could be about that, but Bagode, I feel like is serious about making a Lynx Killer. I don't know if this is gonna be it, but I would like to see a Lynx Killer as much as I love this wheel. It's my favorite wheel. And I don't see myself upgrading anytime soon. But if Bagode does make a Lynx Killer, I'm gonna get it because I want any wheel that is gonna give me the best chance of getting a podium. Podiums are really important. Look at this, uh, this is Valencia. I think that's the Science Center. You were there before, right? Cycle, it's like aquarium or something inside. Today is the Iron Man. Is the what? Iron Man. What's that? The, like the marathon. A marathon. The big marathon. Oh. I don't know. They are closing the si the city science uh, and also the beach place wow. okay. for the Iron Man. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we're not going that way. We're going to go right here, follow this bike. So what are you guys' thoughts on the Beat Goat Blitz? What does it have to do to be a Lynx Killer? Pause for a minute while the sirens stop. I don't think they probably can't pick it up. So what do you guys think? The Bagode Blitz has to be to be a Lynx killer. For me, in racing, I, I'm thinking in terms of racing, if it's going to kill this in racing, it needs hydraulic suspension. I just do not see the rear shock being as good for cornering as the hydraulic suspension. I feel like there's a way to even prove this scientifically. Like the hydraulic suspension, you could press into the suspension on each side and it gives you you're able to keep your synergy, your momentum going into the corners. With a rear shock, it's for me, it's more for jumping. Those rear shocks are good for jumping and stunts, but they're not as good for cornering. That's not to say that I couldn't be completely wrong. This is just my, uh, this is just my perceptions and my experiences that the hydraulic suspension is superior. So I don't think it's gonna win in that department. Now it being lighter than the Lynx, that could be helpful. So. And the tire size, I do not know the tire size. I'm curious to know the tire size. Whew, man, it could be, I just don't see it as a Lynx killer, man. I, I really, I hope it looks really good like the ET Max. I think that's what the idea is, is to make it better looking than a Master. And uh, we'll see. So Bagode Blitz, I think we'll be ready next month. We'll get to see some more info about that, but I'm blacklisted by Bagode, so it's hard for me to get these wheels first to test for you guys to tell you if it is a Lynx killer. And by blacklisted by Bagode, I mean, it, I'm, I could always buy a Bagode. It's not like I, they can stop me from doing that, but they can stop me from being one of the first people to review the wheel and give you an honest opinion. They don't like honesty so much. They think I'm biased. I'm not biased against any wheel. I will race any wheel that gives me the best chances of winning. I want to get some more podiums. This championship in Spain, I'd love to win. I would love to get a top three in this championship in Spain. I'd love to get number one. And if a wheel helps me get there, then I'm going to go for that wheel. So yeah, I am not biased against wheels at all. Bagod, guys, if you know anyone at Bagod and you want to see me test the new wheel or you know a vendor, let that vendor know, hey, I want to see Zen's honest opinion and if this is a link killer. And also, man, Bagod, if you don't have confidence in your wheels enough so that you don't want us to compare them, then that's just, that's kind of just sad, right? Like if I made a product and I was proud of it and I was making claims like it's a Lynx killer, then I would want to see it tested to its max. I don't want to see just the hype guys with the wheel. I want to see the guys that are really testing it hard, the guys that are actually going to races, the guys that are making content and putting out content on the regular. Like the ET Max, I had still have not seen like a good comprehensive review. I see a lot of problems. Wait, is a kid in the, in the footage? Oh, okay. okay, no. I still have not seen a lot of comprehensive footage of the, a comprehensive review of the ET Max. Now guys, the ET Max, I feel like, this is something I wanted to talk about with the ET Max. I feel like now, in racing, typically, it's been the lighter guys, like Psycho and I, we are not too heavy but we have enough mass to still manipulate the wheels. We're not like super skinny scrawny guys and we're not super big strong guys. We're like in the middle, which is like the perfect weight and size for racing. And even Leanya and Steven, we're all pretty like compact. Uh, we're not too tall, not too like bulky, you know? So I feel like that's the best body for racing. But with the ET Max, 
I feel like it opens up the doors. It opens up the doors for bigger racers. Like Joy Ride Jane is a big athletic dude. If you put him on a Lynx and put me on the Lynx, I'm probably going to win because I'm just lighter. And yeah. So with, but now he has an ET Max. And now this worries me because the bigger guys can get the torque out of the ET Max better than someone like Psycho and I can. For us to get that torque out of that high voltage wheel, we just need more body mass to, and to push down harder than possible. So I feel like this wheel, the ET Max, is opening up the doors for bigger riders, heavier riders to be more competitive. And I was watching Joy Ride Jane corner with this wheel and he was looking good because he could do the pivot type of turn on that bigger 99 tire, 99 tire which is a beautiful tire. I love the 99 size. With the 9090 90 tire and hydraulic suspension, that would be amazing for me. But he doesn't have hydraulic suspension on his, uh, on his ET Max. He has the rear suspension. So he has to rely on his pivot turns which when you have enough muscle mass, that's easier to do that type of turning. So I feel like he could be super competitive at Apple Valley against the smaller guys on the smaller wheels. Now a smaller guy on the ET Max, like I said, is just gonna have more, more issues torquing it. It's, uh, it's just a more difficult wheel to torque. Now with the Bagode Blitz, if, man, I wish they were making it 167 volts so that we had that lighter wheel and a more powerful form because Psycho and I, well, specifically, I'm more able to make this wheel beep like crazy. I can get this wheel beeping very easily and I can even probably get it to cut out in terms of dip. I think, I'm curious to see how the tilt back works, but I can make this wheel dip as if it were going to cut out and then I think you get that tilt back. So the Lynx, man, I, this is still my favorite wheel. I do not see, as of right now, it's still my it's still my favorite wheel of the year. Like I think the Lynx will be the best wheel of the year. Some people, you know, the price is really high, 4,000 euro. But you're not buying, some people think it's like a luxury wheel. This is not a luxury wheel. This is a quality piece of equipment. This is the best wheel ever made in the history of electric unicycles. I've crashed mine so many times now, I think about three times. And one was a high speed crash, hard wobble crash, it rolled into some rocks and it's totally fine. You know, it's got some scratches, but I like that, it's like battle wounds. And then if I wanted to make it look new again, I could just buy some parts and it wouldn't even be that much because it's not the expensive type of metal. It's uh, the lightweight type of metal. All I need to do is just replace some things. It wouldn't be that expensive at all. I really think for a hundred euro, I could probably make maybe 200 euro, I could make this wheel look totally brand new again. So the Lynx, I still do not think anything's usurping the Lynx this year. There's not no wheel in my opinion that's gonna, Bego really needs to work hard and they haven't quite understood the difference between hydraulic suspension and the rear suspension. I still don't even know what to call the rear suspension. I feel like the Commander Pro suspension, they had it. They had it. They had this amazing suspension on the Commander Pro, but that's the only wheel they put it on. They should have, <laughs> that guy's taking a poop poop there, but they should have put it on to their other wheels. It's like, okay, we made the Commander Pro, we were rating it as like some of the highest, best quality suspension ever. And then they just like, that's it. They don't, they're not like evolving it. They're not making it better. They're only putting it on the commander. It's like they need to find a way to get that into their master and all their, all their best wheels. They need to figure out a way to get this, this hydraulic suspension into these wheels. This is my opinion. Hydraulic suspension, man. That's why the Commander Pro is such a huge success. It's got speakers. It's got power. It's got speed. It has a nice big thick tire. It's such a, it was such a great wheel that they, and the new Commander Pro 50S is even better in terms of battery cells, but they still haven't really evolved it. Like, I just want to see an evolution of the Commander Pro that's like the master, the Blitz, the Blitz with the Commander Pro suspension and 167 volts in a less than 90 pound package. And I think, but go, and with speakers, Cycle and I love speakers, man. Mm. There's nothing like feeling the vibrations of the wheels. The speakers aren't for everybody, guys. But I literally bought an S16, which I don't, I love the S16 Super Torquey wheel, but the main reason I bought it was for the speakers. I had missed having my GT with the speakers and like some days when you're out riding by yourself or in a group, it's nice to have that music. It just brings a lot of like, I don't know. For me, I love music. So if you're not a music lover, you're not gonna like to listen. You don't need speakers. 
So I love speakers. We are about halfway to Circuito Nobila. Let's go ahead and cut the video here and we will continue at Nobella. We're gonna show you Nobella. I'm curious to see how Psycho's hand drag works on this type of karting track. It's really kind of a slippery type of track. I've crashed on it twice just from slipping. It's not the most grippy asphalt, but man, our legs are gonna be dead after today. Psycho and I were training late last night and I was like, man, we need to save some energy for tomorrow because today is gonna to be like the ultimate leg day. It's gonna burn our legs out. It's, you have to make so many turns. And this is why I feel like I've been getting better is going to this circuit and training at this circuit because it really is pushing me to the next level trying to get these turns. And even I've been putting some weight in my back to you know make my, it reminds me of Blue Eyed Samurai, how she, she um, oh, spoiler alert, uh, she had all the armor on to make her heavier and she was training with that. And then when it came time to take it off for a real battle, she was badass. And Lianyan does that too, like has a suit, trains with a super heavy backpack. And look at Lianya during the Venaros, wasn't getting tired at all. So I'm definitely incorporating that into my training regime. All right, let's go ahead and cut here. We'll see you guys at Circuit Nobella. Hopefully the sun comes back out. It's a beautiful day. The weather is beautiful, but the sun's not out. Shabam. I love the horse for CUC. <laughs> oh man. All right, All right, let's go into Nobella. Pinido Circuit de Karting Nobella. You can see it's not really asphalt. I don't know what kind of uh, terrain this is. And so it can be quite slippery, but for training, man, this is an pl amazing place. And as you guys saw, we're right on the ocean. So it's a really cool place. And they got some amazing carts here. Nabella Racing Center. This is the ultimate circuit for training. Our legs, our legs are gonna be destroyed after the day. Empuhar is the push, push. Em yeah. Is that pronunciation good? Yeah, Empuhar. Empuhar. Yeah, and Puhar. We're going inside. All right. All right. So yeah, Carlo. Circuito Nebella. Hola. Hola, buena. Uh, por tres. Yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, you want a water Aquarius? Or? No, no, one Aquarius. Uno Aquarius, uno botella de agua. Cerveza? No cerveza. Perfecto. And uh, uno botella de agua. Action! All right, we are here at Circuit El Salir, Nabella. So you can see Carlos there, his hands are already, he's already getting tired. He's only done about five laps. That's the purpose of our training on this track, is not to have fun but to make our legs so freaking tired, this is the perfect track for that. It's just like incredible endurance you need on this track. Super basic, but the turns are just, take so much energy. So we're gonna do a lap, but first I wanna show you guys chrono laps. Maybe we need to go in the shade for this. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna hit start and select track here. And this is Carding Villa. Like that, and then I gotta go here behind the line because that's where it's gonna start activating. No, didn't work. Maybe, yeah, okay, we are on the karting track. I'll check that again in a minute. So, this is like a the perfect track for practicing your cornering. I'm curious to see if Psycho's like scraping here. Cause it's similar to the uh, RC track and this is where I've crashed twice is on this corner. Here? Like something about this corner flips me up. It's so difficult this corner. I've crashed there twice. And uh, other than that, I haven't really crashed on that. That's the only place I've crashed is twice right there. Man, I love that ocean breeze and just the beautiful scenery. And yeah, so this is where we're gonna be training all day.
guys, in conclusion here, we talked about the Goat Blitz. Does it have potential to be the next racing wheel? For, in my opinion, it's going to be really hard to conquer the Lynx. The Lynx is just, even on this smaller circuit, I'm getting incredibly fast lap times. I love this wheel. I do not think... I do not think Bagode's going to come through this year. Maybe next year they'll come through. But in my opinion, they have to upgrade the suspension and they have to get the uh, voltage. They have to get the higher voltage into the smaller, lighter wheel. So we'll see what happens with the Bagode Blitz next year. Then we got the EUC film coming up with Law and Seth Johnson. Man, I'm really excited for that. I feel like each year we're bringing... E e e different people in different ways are bringing EUC to the next level. And I love anyone that's bringing us to the next level making it more accessible to more people, getting us out there, making us look cool. So I'm really excited for that. Also guys, I have a new sponsorship from eWheels, eWheels.com, which is the biggest distributor in the United States with the highest customer satisfaction. I mean, you can just go on Facebook or any forum and everyone's like, loves eWheels. And they are interested in racing. They saw my viral video and they were like, man, we wanna be a part of this. So they sponsored me to help me pay for drone shots and videographers to make better videos each time. I want to improve my videos each time. So we have a little bit of funding from eWheels to help out with the next video. And we got I, I basically spent it all on the, the Insta X4. That was like 600 euro. So pretty much, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of that already on upgrading my camera equipment. I think with the Insta X4, we're going to mount it on the track. It won't be a chest cam. We'll mount it somewhere and use it to capture some shots so that should be pretty sweet psycho is getting better at his videography skills we're gonna have to call him psycho film soon because he's got some amazing shots <laughs> and uh yeah so upcoming videos i have psycho taught me how to do the hand drag style on uh, circuit fortuna so i have that video coming up we have our race next week so if you are into the racing next week is my favorite circuit. I feel like it's my best chance to get another podium. I feel like I have a pretty good chance of getting another podium and even a chance to get first place. I really have been training hard. I'm not even getting tired. I did 20 laps here with a backpack, about 20 laps, and I wasn't even getting tired. So I feel like I'm in shape now. I'm not going to get tired. I have the tire that I love the most and I've been training with Psycho who's like a top level rider. So when you have a top level rider to train with, it just really pushes you to the next level. I even lapped Psycho today. I was pretty happy about that. It was pretty awesome. So thank you guys for tuning in. Discount code ZENZONE at OneRide.eu, the biggest distributor in Europe. If you're in Europe, check out OneRide.eu. They have the best amazing reviews, best service. They have wheels in stock. I think there's only one Lynx left. It may have already sold by now. But discount code ZENZONE gets you 5% off anything that's not on sales. If you want these gloves from E-Rides, E-Rides sponsored me with these gloves and they have been absolutely amazing. My friends are buying these gloves after they try them. Uh, I think I actually might need a slightly smaller size. The mediums are just a tiny bit too big, but just a tiny bit. They're, they're still good enough. And I put Velcro on them so I could try to do Psycho style, but uh, that's not working. So we're gonna have to, uh, gonna have to figure out something else for the next race. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.